Well, just before we get into a very busy Friday night show, I just, what is it with Victoria? Now, right now, there's record youth crime, there's home invasions, carjackings, we've got Melburnians locked up in their homes night after night, fearing the worst. But rather than focus on the victims of these crimes, the Premier, Daniel Andrews, well, he's got the perpetrators front of mind. Here's why. Earlier this week, I thought I must have been reading the headlines wrong. A new program, it said, for prisoners with the announcement that trauma teddy bears, I mean, literally stuffed toys, would be handed out to inmates in distress to provide, quote, better support. And ever so careful in this identity politics world of Victoria, these bears would come in two types. There'd be a standard bear and then there'd be an Indigenous bear. And the Indigenous bear's got the flag printed on its feet. There wasn't a transgender bear with a pride flag on its belly, but trust me, that'll come next. But as if that wasn't madness enough, today it got a whole lot worse. With news that criminals with serious convictions are able to wipe away any record of their jail time in secret, in secret closed door court hearings. Those able to wipe away their convictions in jail time include criminals who have committed serious violent crimes, even child sex offenders. And once they wipe away their past record, it's gone for good. None of us are the any wiser. As lawyer and Sky News regular Justin Quill writes today in the Herald Sun, criminals will have wet records wiped clean, ready to apply for shared houses with you or your kids, ready to apply for jobs without anyone knowing their history. As Quill points out, it's all done in secret. No victims, no media. So therefore, no public. These laws came into force on the 1st of July last year, but like so much in Victoria, no one picked it up. It's only known now that it's come to the media's attention. As Quill rightly warns in Victoria, we've gone from suppression to secrecy. I fear, he says, what the government has in store next.